Danny, a year ago, a lot different situation. Your first go around, and uh, now you've had a year under your belt. Uh, how do you feel this time around? <laughs> much more relaxed, I can tell you that much. I, I remember coming in last year, my head was spinning in all directions. Um, but looking back, it was, it was probably the best thing, uh, having the meetings right away. I got the, the chance to meet everybody uh, from the NHL offices and in all the GMs as well, so I didn't have to, to make 50 different calls uh, to introduce <laughs> myself. Um, so looking back, it was a good thing, but it was a whirlwind, no doubt about it. Any, any one thing that has been the biggest learning experience for you thus far? Oh, there's a lot of things uh, that I've learned along the way, uh, but uh, it, you know, I would say you know I imagine that this job was mostly about hockey. It was mostly about um, you know evaluating your team and finding ways to make your team better. But um, you know, managing people is is the one thing that is taking most of my time. That um, I knew it was part of it, but I, I didn't expect it would be uh, probably the, the thing that took most of my time. So that was a, a quick realization. Um, otherwise, it's it's been it's been great. It's been a blast. And when you have a good team around you uh, to start with, it, it really helps. All right, let me ask you about the meetings this morning. Any particular things stand out to you as far as uh, the discussions that you were involved in? Uh, we, uh, we talked in circles about face-offs. So, um, well, that I'm, makes sense. It's in a circle. It, it, exactly. Um, it, it's not um, an easy one. And then we went through you know, the staff of the uh, Department of Player Safety. Um, so just a bit, getting a better understanding of what, what they're going through, um, how they're built, how they come to, to decisions. That was um, a lot of good information. What, did, what in particular did you learn about that? Because that's a process that gets a lot of attention, right? When players get suspended, it becomes news. Anything particular that you, you got out of that? Well, just the process, mostly. Understanding how George gets to, uh, to a decision um, and, and the, whole, the whole way he gets to it and, you know, the, the reviews and, and, you know, the clips and how they come and the talks that they have. And, um, you know, it was very detailed in how they, they come to a decision. Not an easy uh, job to do, um, as we all know, uh, but it, it was great to understand a little better their, their side of why they come and how they come to a decision. Let me ask you, you mentioned the face-offs. You were someone who took a lot of face-offs in your career. What, what are the nuances for fans out there that you guys talk about when you're talking about face-offs? Guys are always trying to cheat to get an advantage, right? Well, that's the thing, right? The, the players are always trying to find a way to, to get an advantage, and uh, that's mostly what we discussed is, is, you know, how can we limit that so it's fair for, uh, for both teams, both players involved inside the circle, and that's, that's the tough part. Um, there, there's no easy way to, uh, to fix that. Um, you know, if someone has an idea, <laughs> just step up, don't worry, we, we just couldn't find one. Yeah, well, it, you're right, it is hard, and the guys who've been around a long time, I'm sure, as you got later in your career, you probably had a little better idea of certain tricks. Yeah, you, and you try to, uh, try to be friendly with, uh, with the <laughs> linesmen uh, so they don't kick you out. Um, there, there's so many ways, but yeah, like I said, there's just no easy solution. All right, let me ask you about your team, because your Philadelphia Flyers have been one of the really good stories in the National Hockey League this year. It's a rebuilding group, but yet here you are. You find yourself in a playoff spot. There's been some ups and downs, but you're still in that spot. How do you feel your team is responding right now? Um, you know, all year they've, they've responded to adversity. Uh, extremely well. Uh, we're going through a little bit of adversity at the moment, and we have a very, very tough schedule um, right now. Um, but I'm, I have to say I'm really proud of uh, our players. I'm really proud of our coaching staff, the way uh, they, they've worked together, um, and, and they keep bouncing back. Nobody expected us to be in this position. Um, I, I think it's great. It's great for the experience. We have a young team. There's no doubt about that. So the experience our guys are able to acquire at the moment, because it's, it's kind of playing playoff hockey already for us, uh, being right on, on the bubble. Um, so I, I love the experience that it's giving, uh, our, especially our young players. You mentioned it, that schedule right now. You're in a seven-game run where you're just playing every tough team there is in the Eastern Conference. What do you guys have to do to make the playoffs? In your mind, you played, you've been through this before. What does this group have to do, do you think, over these next last 15-plus games to get it done? Well, the, the, the part that I love is they'll get that experience. They'll get to know what it's like to play, uh, maybe not quite uh, playoff hockey, but close to it. Um, first of all, it'd be nice to, uh, to get a little healthier on, on defense. Uh, we've had, we, we have some big parts missing, so that's always tough. But I think we have to tighten up defensively a little bit. We've given up a lot of goals. Obviously, we're playing really good teams that can score, uh, so that makes it tough. But, you know, tighten up a, a little, um, not making uh, the same mistakes that, that we've made the, the last few games uh, against 
uh, Tampa, uh, Toronto, and, and Boston. So, um, but we're learning, and, and I love our coaching staff spending a lot of time trying to fix that. Um, I, I'm, like I said, I've been really impressed and proud of, of our guys. Danny, thanks so much for the time. Congratulations on one year in the books for you, thanks and the team much. keeps playing well, so good luck. Thank you so much.